And ladies and gentlemen, this is the second ladder match. Tyler Steele won the first one. What do you think about Tyler Steele winning the first one? I don't know. It's definitely going to be weird to see. Yeah, I... your mic's not even fucking plugged in. Oh, is it? That's, that's oh, my that's, other headset, sorry, that's, our, that's our old microphone that broke, guys, at our announce table. Thought his mic wasn't plugged in. Anyways, guys, Tyler Steele, the veteran, won the last one. And here is the first member of this one. J this is Pierre? J Pierre. J Pierre. It's a French from France. And he is part of the tag team along with Seth Walker, the FLW Bullet Club. Oh, there you go, eh? Mm hmm. Definitely interesting to see, honestly. Like, so many competitors here and so many opportunities. It's honestly just. Honestly, just going to be a wonderful opportunity, I would say. Mm -hmm. J. Pierre was brought in by Seth Walker. Originally, in the Bullet Club as well, and by FLW. Seth Walker always had J. Pierre's back. However, they have yet to win tag titles, so... And here is the next guy. Here is the next guy here. In this match, Dirty will be right back. Here he is. He's back. I'm sorry, I had to do something. That's okay. Here is you. Just you just are back in time to see the second participant of this match, and this is Tom Jarrett. Tom Jarrett. He's in a no, just Jarrett. Jarrett. He was. He's an Australian. I think he's the only Australian wrestler we have on our roster. However, Tom Jarrett is an original. However, he's only ever had one match here. Where he got squashed by, if you remember, he's not in the company anymore. But, if you remember him, Bram Morgan. I think I remember Bram Morgan. He went one-on-one -on -one with another former champion who's not here anymore. Ace Jordan. I don't know, but you know what? I'm looking forward to number three. Mm -hmm. Who could number three be? Maybe Marcus Gold. I'm just going to say everyone is Marcus Gold. I'm just going to say everyone is Marcus Gold now. That's what I've been doing for every... Oh! oh! You remember him. Do what? The fun, loving, fun oh! party time. Colt Cooper! Colt Cooper. The Caucasian cream dream, baby. The Saturday night delight. It is Colt Cooper. Everyone gotta love Colt Cooper. Honestly, if you did not like Colt Cooper, honestly, I would not like you. He almost won the FLW Television Championship. He almost did. Just fingertips away from actually winning it. Definitely, and he has an opportunity. Sorry. The pyro scared me a little yeah, bit. Colt Cooper. Who is gonna be next? Marcus Gold II. I'm telling you, every entrance is gonna be Marcus Gold II. That's just gonna be a match full of Marcus Gold. I don't think anybody would want to see that match. No oh, buys. that would no sell buys. out. No buys. No, no one would buy that. And who is this? The, the fourth participant in this match. There it is! It's Marcus Gold! The second! I wonder who Marcus Gold the first is. I don't know. Hmm. Ugh. And I don't know what he's doing. He looks like a buffoon. Look at that smile. That's fucking shit-eating grin. It is. The richest man in FLW. Supposedly. Marcus. Gold. The second. Yeah, honestly, I saw I saw him with... Uh, I saw him carrying a $500 bill. Oh, nice. I didn't know those were in circulation anymore. Huh. Maybe he has a rare copy of it. Yeah, the the five hundred dollar bill is worth almost five thousand dollars. How many did he have? Just one. He had about ten. Damn, Marcus Gold, the richest guy in FLW, apparently, just confirmed from Dirty Deeds. Now here comes our fifth entrant. Who do you think it's gonna be? Number. I don't Christopher, know. Christopher Clarence. Dude, Marcus Gold. <sighs> Marcus Gold again. Marcus Gold number one. Yeah. Marcus Gold the first. It's confirmed, guys. Is that like his dad or... I don't know. 
I don't know. He claims it's his great uncle. Uh huh. Like he, like he wanted to claim the legacy of his great uncle, cause his great uncle, his kids, like, like. Oh, oh, you remember him, don't you? Drake Morgan, one half of the Mirage. Yep. The very mysterious Drake Morgan. We don't know much about Drake Morgan. We know a lot about Darrell Marcus. However, this man still ravels us as a mystery. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. He's an absolute mystery, and honestly, it's quite interesting to see what he can do in this matchup. What is his strategy going into this matchup? Well, what if this is a fired briefcase? What if he just forever remains a mystery because he just gets exiled from w or from FLW? That's the chances he willing to take. I guess so. But he also could. Next time we see him, he could be world champion because he could cash in. For a shot, but it's for the world title or the television title. You never know. All the excited fans ready for another ladder match. All right, we're gonna pick that. We're gonna pick a random fan. That black guy right there in the yellow shirt. That little girl. She's going over. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think that was Drake Morgan. Fired in the ring. If I the mic. Sure. We'll go with that. Yeah, because it was. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you stinky fuck. And here is Drake Morris. Drake Morris has only had one match. He's a new roster signee, by the way. And he's only had one match taking on Tanaka. But losing to Tanaka in like five minutes. Oh, that was so horrible. So Drake Morris hasn't really had a lot of success here in FLW. But maybe from this, he will find success. Oh, that was absolutely horrible. Who's next? That was Drake Morris. Drake Morris. He had a, he's had one, he's a new roster signee. Has had one match and he lost to, he lost to Tanaka in five minutes. Okay. So maybe this is his time to get a shine finally. I say finally, he's brand new to the roster, but you know. Purple lights in the arena. D R E A M. Jordan Nicholson. I swear to god this guy's on the show every time you're here. <laughs> yeah. For Jordan, sure has been. You were here for his debut and you've been here for I think every one of his matches to be honest. I think so, yeah. But yes, here is Jordan Nicholson, another man who was so freaking close to winning the the television title. Ah, okay. However, that's, that's not, not the only title that we came close to. He also became, became close to being number one contender for the FLW World Champion, champion as he was the, 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 the last, last person, person to be eliminated in the Rumble. Oh, the last person eliminated to be in the Rumble? Yeah, definitely. He was the last person to be eliminated in the Rumble. <clears throat> I wonder who else could be in this matchup. It's definitely going to be interesting to see who's in this matchup. The final two? I believe there are six competitors in the ring or seven? I don't know. We'll, we're going to find that in a second. I kind of lost count. But there is Jordan Nicholson. How do you like Jordan Nicholson? I mean, you've seen all of his matches. It's pretty good. Honestly, he's really enjoyable to watch in the ring. And honestly, I think he stands a big chance in this matchup here. I think everyone in this matchup stands a big chance in this matchup. Except for Marcus Gold. And here is the next guy. Former bouncer turned pro wrestler. Gabriel Ray. Ah, uh, man. From all my friends back in the day, I can tell you that the bouncer pro wrestler combination is absolutely a Deadly combination, mm -hmm. and it's gonna it's gonna be interesting. Well, it's not just a bouncer shark. He's been a bouncer, and he's a, he used to be a pro boxer. I feel bad for anyone who has to step in the ring with him. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for anyone that because he was a boxer before he was a bouncer. I feel bad for anyone that broke the rules in the bar. Good night. Yes, Gabriel Ray. What's your thoughts on? The look of Gabriel Ray. I don't know, but that was the, actually the eighth, and here we go. 
We got Marcus Cole, the second dog, and oh. kicking in the face. Who are you? Who do you think? Who do you think is gonna win this match? Who do you think is gonna pull away and win this a big chance or hor or a horrible opportunity? Honestly, I don't know. It's I like. This is like a matchup between all eight participants. Did I... Marcus Gold just do a springboard? Yes. It didn't go so well. No, he should never do springboards. No, he shouldn't. And Drake Morgan. There's a Drake Mor. Don't forget. There's a Drake Morris, and then there's a Drake Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, I. I don't know. It's so, it's so clustered right now. I can't even tell who's who right now. Mm. Oh, look at oh, look at Drake Morris though. Oh, oh huge clothesline. Here comes Marcus Gold. Oh no. Yeah, Marcus Gold. Oh. On the Australian signed Tom Jarrett. And Tom Jarrett now is looking. Oh. Wow, he just got met by Drake Morris. The vicious. N Boot. I oh, uh, rake after I rake to Jarrett. What does Morris have? Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Uh, oh, stomping the fingers. Oh, stomping the fingers again. Oh, my God. Third time. Uh oh, Colt Cooper. Colt Cooper's got Marcus Gold in the sights now. Oh, no. Here comes Colt. He's going to get a little bit of that Caucasian cream dream. Caucasian cream dream, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, knife edge shop. Oh, knife edge shop. Oh, how is he picking him up? How is he I doing mean, this? Cole Cooper's actually a pretty big guy. He's pretty tall. Oh, yep. Yeah, he's nowhere near the size of Marcus Gold. Oh, well. And here comes J. Pierre back in the ring. Doing the Bullet Club taunt. Too sweet, me bro. J. Pierre. Oh. Uh-oh. Here comes Drake Morris. Oh. oh, brain buster. And Tom Jarrett's back up finally now. Beating on Morris and Tom Jared. Oh. The Caucasian dream, cream jean. I oh. put you that name more than once. Oh, and a big snake eyes on their ring apron. Oh, no, Marcus. Definitely, it's definitely going to be interesting to see who is going to come up with a victory in this matchup. Yeah, definitely. No, I mean, really, I really mean that. Definitely. Oh, Marcus Gold's got a ladder. See the th the disadvantage. Oh, not for long. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh my God! He got turned inside out by Colt Cooper. Colt Cooper. Off, off. Oh, look at that! Hit to the back. Trying to hit. Oh, nails. Uh. Uh oh. STO. Boom. Oh. STO. What did you call that? The golden opportunity. Yes. I believe so here. Oh, and Colt Cooper gets rid of Drake Morgan. Oh! Gold's all by himself. Gold's all by himself. I don't know if he wants to do this. He could be fired after tonight. But he could also get a world title shot. And that's what's important to Marcus Gold here tonight. The I don't know. golden opportunity that he could have here tonight. But Colt Cooper could also have a golden opportunity here tonight. Go! Oh. Cold Cooper. The Saturday Night Delight could be winning this tonight. And look at this. He's getting left. Oh! Tom. Tom Jarrett. What the? Oh no, he's going to push him over. Two guys on this now. on the edge of the ladder and look at this here comes J oh. Pierre and outside the ring Gabriel Ray and Jordan Nicholson have been brawling for like five minutes now just when you say that yeah you know oh my god what is Gabriel Ray doing up top he wants to finish Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. Top boxer! Yeah, screw Gabriel Ray being a boxer, he just got knocked the fuck out. I don't know, Marcus Gold's in trouble. Look watch at Jordan Nicholson! 
Jordan Nickel, yeah, Jordan Nicholson. Oh, we're in Jay Pierre. Oh, oh. lung blower. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this right here. Jay Pierre. He has an opening. Oh, the Caucasian cream dream that creates a little bit of a nightmare for him. <laughs> oh, ladder knocked down thanks to Drake Morgan. Beautiful hey. bulldog. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh! oh. Jay Pierre just accidentally chopped the ladder. Oh. See you later, Cole. Good, good try. <laughs> See you later again. Colt Cooper, he. My, what if Colt Cooper won this matchup? And he is the Saturday Night Delight. I went mine in the Saturday Night Delight as your world champion. I know, Or television champion. But I don't want to see. The only problem is I don't want to see Colt C Cooper be gone. No. So I'm very conflicted on if I want Colt Cooper to win or not. Here's this guy, Drake Moore. He's kind of been the underdog of this match. No one really suspecting this guy to actually pick up the victory. And he's left all alone right now. He's left all alone. Marcus Gold, here he comes, coming to ruin the opportunity. No, oh, he's want... coming to attack Saturday Night Delight. He wants his revenge. No. And look at this, all of them leaving him all by himself. Leaving him all by himself. Oh. Oh. Jay Pierre able to save the matchup. And now finally, they're able to push him over. Oh no, oh no, I feel bad. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Reach Morris. Him? Oh no no. Oh, oh power bomb. And Drake Morris almost had that almost had that case. And J Pierre. Oh, oh god. god. Oh my god. Oh no. Um What's his name again? Which one? Hidden the hidden people the ladder. Jordan Nicholson. Nicholson. Thank you. New is Nicholson something. I didn't know what his first name was. Let's look at this. Oh no, and oh, he gets sent over the top rope. And Jay Pierre is all by himself in the ring right now, but the ladder seems to be caught in the rope. Where is it caught in the rope? I don't know. Might be. Oh, he manages to get it out though. And Jay Pierre is alone in the middle of the ring. And look at this, he's going up as fast as he can. Look at this, he's making his way up there. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Oh, stopping. Oh my god, oh my god! Jay Pierre is hanging for dear life. No, oh, his elbow hit the edge of the ladder. Ouch, that's gonna injure your elbow. And watch, watch Gabriel Ray. Watch poor Drake Morris here. Oh, Jesus. Now let's see. Gabriel see. Ray is the only man technically standing inside the ring. A gold opportunity from the gold dynasty on the outside. Tom Jarrett, for the second time now, Tom Jarrett's received a gold opportunity. Apparently, Marcus Gold does not like Australian people. Marcus Gold doesn't like They anybody. probably served him some bad five-star food or something in Australia. Yeah, it's probably only worth 4.5. 4. <laughs> yeah. He's probably taking it on and poor Tom Jarrett now. Probably rated it as low as McDonald's. Yeah, probably. And, oh, wait, Drake Morris set up the ladder. However, Drake Morris is going to be the guy climbing up to the top of the ladder. And can he be the one to claim the briefcase? Colt Cooper, though, is there. Try to push him off the ladder. He can't. Doesn't seem to have the strength to push him off. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> He's trying his hardest. He can't get him off. And he won. Drake Morris. Drake Morris is your winner. Look at the cocky smile on his face. He just looks like he won a million dollars. Yeah, you know what? He could have won definitely a million dollars. He could have definitely. Maybe future world or television champion. But he also could have won himself. A one-way trip Back. to free agent land. Absolutely. I mean, he just got signed, so I don't know how it's going to feel him getting fired already. But that's all up to the luck of the draw. Thank you guys for watching. Next, we have our Fatal 4-Way Elimination. 
match. Tell it for the television title. Yeah. I love you guys.